Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and I haven't been able to make soap or videos for a couple more days than I'd like to because I was participating in the San Diego's Bankers Hill Art and Craft Beer Festival for my fourth year in the row, and sold soap there and show you the building is really interesting. And here is also my soap table. Sold a lot of soap, but now it's time to make some more. And I decided to make a watermelon lime shave ice uh, soap. And that I got some inspiration from the North Shore of Hawaii where my both my parents are from. And there's a very famous store called the Matsumoto Store and they sell shave ice. They've become well known because of it. You can still go there and get those goodies. Um, I decided to do watermelon and shave ice because of my memories of these snow cones that have all the colors in it and different kinds of sweetness. So I also thought that that would be a great way to sneak in a little bit more color than just a watermelon soap. So I'll show you how I played around with the colors a little bit and then we'll get started with the soap. But what I'm going to do is use the red pretty strongly for my, to represent my watermelon. And I'm going to put more of a yellow green in that. And I think that helps sort of rescue it from that holiday look. I really am thinking about shave ice and the bright lime color that they have for that flavor. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of white right into the red. Because you know how you take the syrup out of the snow cone as you eat it and how when it drains out of it you have a sort of more ice color left behind. So that'll add a little more interest to my swirl, and uh, I hope it does anyway. And so I'll have this variation. The more the reason why I'm really having that white in there is I like the the effect of the swirls in the soap. Okay, I'm gonna do everything that you always see me do when I start making soap, and I'll spare you all that, and I'll get you right to where I mix in the colors. Okay, we're ready for the colors. Now this is my red. Didn't have to tell you that. And there's my green. Didn't have to tell you that either, did I? But this one, I can tell you something about. That's red with some white in there to represent that area where you take you use the straw and the flavor goes away and it turns to more ice. Same thing with this green here. And I'm going to split the red. I'm going to get these all blended up. Okay, we better get these in the mold. And this green color will change back. I was panicked because it looks like pea soup and pea soup on a snow cone doesn't sound so good. It brightens up. That's what I'm trying to say. It 
since it's pretty firm it's going to lay pretty flat on top so I'm just going to do a spoon swirl or chopstick swirl to get it kind of swirled into the top I use the really red micro, mica from Nurture Soap Supply. So far it's really been a really great red. Wow, and this one, I could have used this one for my avocado soap. It's just like guacamole. Making myself hungry. The fragrance smells really good. It's um, the the sort of tartness of the lime tames the sweetness of the watermelon a bit. Those pastel versions of the main colors look really nice together too. Okay. I'm really giving it a good deep stir because there's no real danger of muddling up the colors because I'm only mixing it up with a version of the color itself. Okay, now I'm going to take my hanger and do some horizontal swirls. And I think I do want to keep these layers separate but do some kind of texture to them. To me it's always a conscious decision to make a texture top. So if it's like an ice cream or in this case, shave ice. I want to do something to the top to make it look like it's a, you know, that raised portion in the cone. Usually, I want to do mantra swirl or something. I have to show some restraint when it comes to swirling, as you know. Looks delicious. And that is my watermelon lime shave ice. And I'll show you the cutting of that. Okay, it's been two days since I poured this watermelon lime shave ice. Couldn't wait to cut it. That green turned really lime green, which is what I wanted. There's that end piece. Should be two different... Um, types of pink and two different types of green in there. Just basically changed by the amount of uh, titanium dioxide that I put in the lighter of those two colors. That's what I want it to show up. And it smells very good not as syrupy sweet as I thought it might have turned out to be. I think the lime really helped out. That one came out nice. 
and put glitter on top because it is representing shave ice and that seemed to make sense for me In this particular case, I'm really glad that the colors didn't dull down as they can sometimes. There's so many things you can do with those dividers for the loaf molds. I've used them in many different ways. So this kept the two halves of the soap totally separate, the two colors. But I can still go in there and swirl each side separately. That's what you're looking at. A little trail of pink right there. I like uh, the sideways uh, swirls with the um, hanger because I like it when one color trails into the other and vice versa. You can see that better there. And that's the last one. Okay, this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. Thanks for watching again. This has been the making and cutting of watermelon lime shave ice. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, everybody.